what's up everybody welcome back to my channel <sighs> long time no see but right now what we're going to do is install my first wig so right now i'm getting ready to braid down my hair so i'm gonna do like a little time lapse and yeah okay so like i said i'd have to braid down my hair it really doesn't take me that long to braid down my hair but as long as i get majority of my hair in the braids everything will be okay and then after you braid down your hair you want to make sure that you oil your scalp i had already washed blow dried my hair and then put oil in it so after i braid it down i just put a little bit more oil in it just so it doesn't have to be itchy Okay, so now that that part is over, it's time to get into the fun part. I make sure I go ahead and I put on my wig cap. It doesn't have to be as close to your color because, you know, sometimes you just never know. But you're going to end up tinting it later. So what I'm doing now is I put my wig cap on, make sure that it fits nice and snug. And then I cut out the little ear tabs for myself so I can work around my ears. Then I go ahead with my got to be glue and I make sure that I spray around my hairline. And I get my blow dryer and I go ahead and go in there and make sure that it's dry before I move on to the next step. Okay, now that I've gone in with my layers of glue and made sure that they're all dry, it's time for me to go in with my foundation. I was going to start cutting at first, that's why you can see a little rigid in the middle, but um, I decided to go in with my foundation first. Honestly, I didn't like this foundation because it was more like a red undertone. Every now and again, my foundations, they like to switch. So after I put this foundation on around my hairline, I made sure that I went in with my other foundation just for it to be a little bit more of my skin tone. Now that that's all done, I make sure that I go in with my scissors and I cut around my hairline as close as I can. I'm not gonna lie, these probably not the best scissors to use. You might wanna use something that's a little bit more sharp and skinnier. But at the end of the day, it got it done. It is what it is, but make sure that you go in and you cut right where your hairline is supposed to be so it can give it that natural look. At this point in time, I realized that my wig cap wasn't completely down where my sideburns were. So this is just me going back in with a little bit more got to be in getting that blow dryer and making sure that it's like, I don't want to say melt it onto your skin, but you want to make sure that it's like stuck on there like really, really good. Okay, so now that I've got my wig cap on and you know, it's all set in stone. I'm about to take this and I'm about to do my wig and then I will be back for the install. At this point, I have already put down a layer of got to be glue on my head and I already started blow drying it to get the drying process going. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the wig on my head and put it exactly where I want it. And then I'm gonna take my hot comb and I'm going to just comb the front to the back so that way I can see the lace and I can line it up with my edge and then eventually glue it down.
it's time for the glue. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wig off and I'm going to spray a little bit onto the lace of the wig and then I'm going to go back and put it on and try to line it up with my edge as much as possible. I'm gonna glue down one section at a time, press it, blow dry it, and then I'm gonna go and do the rest of the section, press it and blow dry it. Once I'm done with this part, I'm just going to go ahead and put my elastic band on just to make sure that the wig is secured and that the hairline is where it needs to be. And then what I'm going to do is because this wig is wavy, at the moment I want it straight. So I'm going to go ahead and straighten it and go ahead and style it. And that's really the final product, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and get that bell a ring. Go ahead, shout your girl out and let me know what other content you guys want to see. Let me know what y'all are up to. Use the comment box. And I will see y'all later.